Hello my friends and subscribers to the channel, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no boo video. Today I would like to talk about Galaxy Watch. Did not plan at all create video about this, but I created a lot of different videos and because I love what I'm talking about. I'm very emotional and very hand moving uh, gestures there. And people notice that I've got watch and they start asking, hey, what kind of watch is that? Nothing to be proud of, um, very humble what it is. I'm not claiming it's the best watch, but I think it's worth reviewing and why I bought this watch and not any other watch, smartwatch in the market. I will start in a second. However, please do me a huge favor, subscribe to my channel, hit like, hit that uh, notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. Let's talk about watch. So many people call it smartwatch, many people call it uh, fitness watch. What it is, I'm not sure. I had um, Garmin before, I had the uh, Galaxy Gear S3 and this watch was not revolution, it was evolution that moved from Galaxy Gear S3 watch to this one. In my books, it's almost similar. They changed a couple of things. They changed processor, I think it's the same amount of memory, better uh, screen in a way of, uh, uh, it's not a scr scratchable, if it's such a word. So I think there's a Gorilla Glass next generation. Also, uh, now it's officially waterproof and you can swim with that watch. I think from sensors perspective, uh, they all got same sensors and same functions. This watch by no means is a champion of smart watches. I would not say, hey, if you buy this watch, you got everything you ever need. That is exactly the point I would like to address. What do you need from smart watch? I would say if you're an Apple ecosystem, if you like how fancy watch could be, I would definitely stick with Apple Watch. Um, I think it's overpriced. I think it's not as good as other watches in the market, but for what it is, it's pretty good watch. Today, we're not talking about Apple Watch. What is the second best? Unfortunately, if you're not in Apple ecosystem, you've got three different choices. One is uh, activity, what I call based watches, which is like Garmin and, and others. You've got smart watches and you've got notification watches. So notification watches, I don't want to go into details. I believe every single company would have our notification watches is basically cheaper smart watches, which connects to your mobile phone and tells you uh, briefly uh, what notification comes to your phone but they're very limited in functionality and then I've got two different flavors it's uh, Tizen smartwatches which is Samsung operating system for watches and we've got uh, Wear OS which is basically Google uh, operating system for the watch I had my first smartwatch was Motorola 360 with third generation of Wear OS and I can tell you right now I did not enjoy that watch. The battery barely lasted a day, the watch was not as smart, but I guess you know I was first adopter. Then I got Galaxy Watch no Galaxy Gear S3. That was a game changer. The battery on that watch lasted four days. I I I could get out of that watch exactly what I wanted. Basically, a little bit of fitness, a little bit of music, a little bit of tracking, a little bit of monitoring, a little bit of everything. And battery still would last for uh, four days. When I decided to buy another version of it, uh, something had two versions of the watch in the market, Galaxy Active and Galaxy Watch. What is the difference? Inside, they're almost the same, but Galaxy Active has more sensors and maybe one day they will provide uh, ECG uh, monitoring on, uh, as part of the service. At the moment, ECG is not available 
And if you think about health monitoring, um, Galaxy Watch Active and Galaxy Watch are totally the same watches. Galaxy Watch different from Active because it's more robust. If you do more activity that can damage the watch, I would definitely go with Galaxy Watch. It has a stainless steel frame. It basically takes everything you can do if you're quite rough because the other one is like a, almost like office watch. I wouldn't claim that it wouldn't take any abuse, but if you're really rough in the gym or your activities in life, I would definitely um, go for uh, this one. What I'm using my watch for? Yes, I've got Galaxy um, S10 phone. So as a, as a Samsung ecosystem, they pair really well. And I'm not using my uh, hands-free in the car. When call comes through, it, it is still legal to take it on a watch. So you may leave watch somewhere land in a car in a glove box in a boot and if call come in you basically hands-free can take that call and speak on a watch that's the one big thing second one is if you come home back from work or from anywhere and you don't want to carry your phone in a pocket you can make sure you can connect your watch to wi-fi and even if your phone is far away to be connected by bluetooth your watch can route call through Wi-Fi within the same Wi-Fi system and you can leave your phone in the bedroom or, or kitchen wherever you want and if call comes in and your phone is not on you it can take that call on the watch so basically the first big function for me is hands-free the second one is notifications I am a busy person and I don't like opening my phone check every single message that I receive. I don't have time for that. A quick glance on the, on the watch, what notification is that, and make my decision if I will open that notification on the phone or ignore until I have time for this. So notifications are a good point. You can disable notifications for every single application or you can enable them all and, and receive them on a watch. Another big thing for me is sleep and activity monitoring. I know exactly what my daily routine is, so taking watch to gym and, and seeing how many steps I do, it's not my cup of tea. I don't believe steps would, um, would be indication on how fit you are, but the watch have a heart rate monitor and I believe they improve significantly from a previous version which is Galaxy uh, Gear S3. So, Resting heart rate, basically when you sleep, and active heart rate are two important things to understand your health. So for example, if you're sleeping and your heart rate is above 80 beats per minute, I would start talking to your doctor. It doesn't hurt, you don't know about this, but if you don't know the data that your watch will tell you, uh, you wouldn't know that you might have heart issues. And that watch is brilliant. You can set up how often measurements taken. I measure my heart rate um, every hour during a sleep and monitor uh, if I'm stressed, if I eat an unhealthy, if um, I need to exercise more. And I can assure you my lifestyle completely results in heart rate during a sleep. So when you're sleeping, that watch also can monitor sleep. I don't believe there is a, any smart watch on the market that can monitor your sleep well because um, one part of the sleep is monitoring brain waves and it requires monitoring of your brain. Watch does not go to that part of monitoring, so every single watch that is on the market, it's a best guess of your quality of sleep. I wouldn't trust my watch for that, but for heart rate, I think it's pretty good to have an indication, even if it's maybe not accurate to the point, but you can see if your right uh, heart rate changes, uh, which direction it takes, whether your heart rate increases during the night or decreases. So it's a one big thing. Another one is um, it has GPS. I mean, simple things like you park your car in unfamiliar place, that watch gives you opportunity to 
uh, locate your car based on where you park it with one button press. It's, it's impressive. Sometimes you don't appreciate it until you need it. Uh, it's another one. And of course, it tells you time, which is not a bad thing. Also, this watch um, will allow you to either um, have it always on or um, have it only when you change the direction of your wrist uh, to show you time. I prefer that because I, I don't want battery to drain too fast because I don't have an uh, opportunity to, to charge every day. But it lasts four days. You can change what you see on the screen. I've got on the screen heart rate, amount of steps, even if I don't care, time and date. Other people may have other options there. Also, as I mentioned, you can sleep in that watch. It auto detects your workouts. And if you've got Samsung ecosystem, it pairs very well. Saying that, it will pair with every ecosystem you've got. It even pairs with Apple uh, ecosystem. It's not as rich in features if you pair to Apple. But unlike Apple devices, it will allow you to work with non-Android or non-Samsung phone. Also, the big feature of this phone is rotating bezel. You can disable it so it does not trigger a screen uh, lighting up, but um, it's very responsive. And if you if you would like to measure anything or check any menu, you can um, um, set it up with rotating bezel. And it's really easy to navigate through all the applications that you install and uh, get there easy. Also, you've got fast uh, menus and things like that. The watch is very responsive. The watch is quite modern. It doesn't do everything that you might think it does. But I would say for money that you pay, it's really a good deal. I got my watch from Amazon. I'll put link in description where I got it from. Um, the reason why I'm buying my stuff from Amazon, Amazon taking responsibility to provide you with all safety and peace of mind that you need if things will go wrong. Um, I had a couple of things gone wrong and Amazon fixed it in no time. Plus, if you buy it from Amazon, uh, it comes from Australia and you have full two years Samsung warranty. Why do you need Samsung warranty? I had my previous watch, um, one of the sensors stopped working. I just walked in a shopping center to Samsung booth. They took my watch and they actually replaced, not replaced, I think they replaced motherboard. I don't remember what happened, but they took it one day. They called me following day that my watch is ready to pick up and I picked it up. Um, if you don't have a local Samsung warranty, uh, they won't take your watch. So make sure when you buy on Amazon, make sure that you click on that link that I provided. There's definitely Australian version of the watch. So Samsung will honor uh, your warranty. Please let me know if you would like to know more about that watch or anything else in my Android ecosystem that I use. And I'll try to create a new video. For now, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.